Good morning, Skyline. My name is Mercedes. And I'm Maddie. And your Skyline Scoop starts right now. now. Maddie, you know, I was doing the math, and this is actually our 13th Skyline Scoop Friday edition. That's so little, like we've been here forever. No, wait, but get this. It's the 64th episode. That's strange. Math is weird. I know. Like, it doesn't add up. Mm. Oh! <laughs> hey, Raiders! <laughs> Didn't see you there! <laughs> sorry, sorry. But since you're here, attention to all seniors watching the show. If you miss placing your order with Jostens, do not fret. They will be back today to take more orders. Exactly. Make sure to make to pay your $100 deposit if your order is over $100, or the complete payment if it's under $100. They will be in the senior cafeteria during all lunches. You can also go to their website, jostens.com, to view merchandise and pay online. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, my voice is a little gone, but it's okay. Me too. <laughs> Now, let's go get an inside look at Dallas Fashion Week. Hello, I am Jennifer Stanley, the fashion marketing teacher here at Skyline High School. So partnering with Dallas Fashion Week was super exciting for our cluster because our students got real time industry experience um, in regards to producing a fashion show and kind of everything that goes into preparing the event space beforehand, as well as kind of the craziness that happens once the event starts. Um, it was a really pleasant experience. Uh, we, got to this, we got to see designs up close and actually talk with designers and with the models and how their experience is. And see them actually practice their model walk is exciting. Um, greeting and guests, um, making sure they have like a pleasant welcome. Helping them, helping them check in and just being there, um, watching everything go down. It was really impressive to see our students just kind of jump in and be, um, you know, really good with being given so much responsibility in regards to the success of the show. And we had a lot of compliments on how well our students performed and they invited us back to collaborate with them on future runway shows, which is really exciting. Now, this is for all Raiders if, you ha if you're losing credit for a class. Principal's plan is on Monday and Wednesdays from 4.30 to 6.30 in the senior cafeteria. Bring an electronic device, paper, pencils, pens, all of that because supplies will not be provided. Mm -hmm. Your deadline to complete all of your hours is December. So if you cannot attend these sessions, you can attend your teacher's tutorials or tutoring. And if you have any questions, you can find Mr. Cordero wherever you see him at. <laughs> Now, it's time to head to our Weather Center, sponsored by the Florida Design Cluster. Shout out to Mr. Coyle and his amazing students for making arrangements for so many of our district events. Yep. Now, on to Weather with America. Thanks, Anchor Girls. Happy Friday, readers. I hope everyone had a good week now that our temperatures aren't so high. For today's weather report, it looks like we'll have mainly a sunny day. We'll have a high of 72 degrees and a low 48 degrees with a 5% chance of rain and a 51% humidity. For tomorrow's weather, we'll have a high of 75 degrees and a low of 61 degrees with a 7% chance of rain and a 58% humidity. Our sunrise today was at 6.57 a.m. and our sunset will be at around 5.25 p.m. There's only 13 days left until Thanksgiving and we want to know your favorite Thanksgiving dish. Scan our QR code to let us know. That's all we have for weather today. Back to our anchor girls. Thanks, America. Looking great as always. Well, I was too busy listening to the cooler weather report to worry about how she looked. Okay, but you are right about that. I do love that we like can start wearing these beanies now. You know, it's cold. And they're so full of school spirit. <laughs> and you might want to take a beanie or a blanket to donate blood because last time it was really cold. Yeah. Raiders, get ready because Friday, December 13th, the JRCC will be having another blood drive. That's just so amazing, like two times in a row, oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, sign-ups will be held during all lunches December 9th through the 12th. Students must be 16 years or older to donate, and if you're 16 years or younger, wait, 16 years at the age, you need a waiver to 
donate blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, all students must have their ID the day they sign up and the day of the appointment. Sign up and help self lives. Sorry, I got a little excited, but <laughs> don't forget your beanies. Also, Raiders, stop by the Student Center Tuesdays and Fridays during lunches. So, today. Mm -hmm. Stop by and ask questions, or you could just get to know who will guide you on your path to graduation. It's mm -hmm. so close, you know? Yeah, and our counselors always keep it together. Now, let's check out who you guys voted for for Raider of the Week. Take it away, Luis Angel. What's up, y'all? This is Angel Medina, and this is Raider of the Week. Can we please bring in the Raider of the Week? What's up, bro? It's pretty good. All right, bro, can you say your name in grade for me, please? My name's Guillermo, and I'm a senior. You're a senior, so you've been here all four years? Yes, sir. That's pretty awesome. So, you know, cut, cut to the chase. Uh, how did it feel like uh, when you first walked into Skyline? It felt cool. It was big. A lot of people. Pretty awesome, right? You know, first person saying he wasn't nervous. You know, that's cool. So, second question, uh, are you, like, in a, any extracurricular activities or a cluster by any chance? I'm in engineering, bro. Engineering what? What type of engineering? Electrical engineering. Electric. So, you want to be, like, an electrician when you grow up? Yeah. Type B. That's pretty awesome. You know, they do make a lot of money. So, uh, you know, what, what type of goals do you have for yourself? Take over my dad's business and make money. Hey, make money. <laughs> make money. All right. I'll see that. Final question, bro. What's some advice you would have for your uh, fellow Raiders here at Skyline? Keep over your grades and attendance and don't end up in reconnect. No. Oh, he's speaking from experience. <laughs> Gots to be. You know, reconnect. I don't talk about that. He ain't reconnect. <laughs> but you know, it can't be a Raider of the Week episode without giving our friend, you know, his certificate. So can we please have uh, our man step in and give it for him? <laughs> for those wondering why the Raider isn't here, you know. He, uh, he went on strike because we haven't been paying him. So we're going to have to get him back in here. But Get know, him back in. Bro. We got to get him back in. We got to get him back in. We're going to give him his money. You know, don't forget to follow us on all social media, at Skynet Broadcasting, you know, and scan the QR code if you want to have your friend or teacher here, wherever you like. And we'll catch you in the next one. Back to you, Anchor Girls. Excellent choice, Raiders. Now it's time for a few more choices. This is what I like to call our join a club announcements. Yeah, you know, maybe you're interested in robotics. I won't do it today. Thank you. But <laughs> they, this is the perfect thing for you because they will have their first robotics meeting for new team members Tuesday, November 19th in room B19 from 445 to 545. Yep, or maybe you like art instead. Yeah, because the Skyline Art Club will meet every Tuesday from 435 to 530 in room G27. You can see Ms. Cross for more information and come be a part of the fun. So, scan the QR code to join. Yep, it's never too late. Or, do you want to make a change in your community? Mm-hmm. Then, you should totally join the Skyline NAACP Youth Organization. Mm-hmm. The club is open to all. Meetings are held on the first and third Wednesdays in the library at from 435 to 520 p.m. And if you have any questions, please stop by the library and speak with Miss King. Okay, guys. Time to hear some exciting news from Jay. Hallelujah! We won, y'all, we won! Go ahead and do it again. Just do it again. We yep. did it! Yep, 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 that, that, that one got you. That's, <gasps> how, that's how you're feeling today. <gasps> yeah, we know. <sighs> Shut up, Nicholas. Oh my god. Anyways, y'all, welcome to Overtime, a sports segment where we give you all or most of your last week's news. I'm your host, Jay. And I'm Nico. So, let's get started. I feel like we should start with our bad news, of course. <sighs> well, you guys, our boys lost once again. And we can now say that this year is definitely not our year. And I couldn't be happier. I mean, I poop on the Cowboys every year, but I mean, like, I'm the only one that's not delusional. We're not delusional. We're just hopeful. Delusional. But on some other bad news, the Mavericks lost twice last week. Dang. Double homicide. Triple if you count the Cowboys. But they lost to the Suns with the score of 14 to 13. Hey, that was a close win, you guys. It's okay. But the second loss was to the Nuggets with a score of 122 to 120. Another close loss. 
Mm-hmm. Bond, some more good news. And if you couldn't tell, by the way, he was running and shaking the hand. Y'all, we won. Yep, there you go. That's that. Yep. That. And y'all wonder why it's hard being his anchor. Like, you know, just. <gasps> we won. Like, just yeah, having to deal with this. Look what he's doing. You see that? I don't know if he's hitting the stanky leg or whatever, but this isn't right. You guys, we beat those funky Jaguars. They claim we cheated, but they just made it. They couldn't stand a chance against us. So. Congratulations to our football team on winning your last game and your senior night. Yes, we were able to get some interviews with some of the senior football players, cheerleaders, and the Sassy Silks. So let's see what they had to say. Who are we here with? King Morgan. All right, and y'all just won y'all senior night? Y'all won 1918. Y'all won, but at the same time, it's kind of bitter because this will be your last high school football game. How do you feel? Uh -oh. King Morgan! I mean, we played our hearts out. I mean, it was good. Feel good to win, you know. Everybody, you know, just gotta do what we gotta do. All right, who are we here with? Jorge Chavez. Nehemiah Johnson. All right, so y'all just won y'all senior night, 1918. How does it feel to win with y'all brothers your last senior game? Hey, it was a rough four years, but it was the four years I wouldn't change for anything else. I love everyone that I've had on this team, except for him. Always messed me up at practice, oh! but I'll still love Hey. It was a beautiful game. We all came out, we played our hardest, man. It feel good. Last game came out with a win, baby. And like we said, this is y'all's last game of high school football. Y'all, some of your brothers on your team, y'all's family, but some of them you may see, some of them you may not. How does it feel? What motions are you going through it being your last game of high school football? It's a lot right now. Really just trying to enjoy the moment, soak it all in, just because I know I'm never going to get this moment back, especially with this W that we got. I'm going to miss everyone. I know you're going to have a fun time in college, messing up those centers also. It's whatever, man. Hey, look, uh, some, some of these people I know I'm not going to see. Um, and you know, it breaks my heart being four years, I grew up with all these people, you know. At the moment, like he said, I'm just trying to enjoy the moment. All right, who are we here with? Trent Banks. All right, so you just won your senior night, 1918. How does it feel to win with this group of guys? Bro, I've been with all these dudes since my freshman year, bro. And it's just, I wouldn't rather go out with nobody else, bro. I love all of them, fam. Way to send me out to the underclassmen, all the juniors, sophomores, the freshmen on the team. The seniors do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Way to send us out, bro. Kudos to them. And like we said, this is your last senior game. This is your last game of high school football. How are you feeling it being your last game? Some people you may see, some people you may not. What, what emotions are you going through right now? Man, it's really a lot of, you know what I'm saying? I'm sad. I'm sad and happy at the same time. I'm happy we won our last game. I got sent out the right way, but I'm sad at the same time because high school ball over now. It's time to go on to the next level. All right. Who are we here with? Elijah Bo Barnes. Kingston Buller. All right. So as y'all just, as y'all are feeling, y'all won y'all senior night 1918. How does it feel? Oh man, it feel good, you know, just to end our, our senior season, you know what I'm saying, with a W. And you know, I got it with my brothers, you know, I'm never gonna play with them again. So, you know, we went out with a bang. Yeah, back the way he said, man, feel amazing, man. And like y'all said, this is y'all last game of high school football. What, what's going through your head as it being y'all's last game? Y'all playing with y'all's brothers, you, some you may see, some you may not. What's going through y'all's head right now? Oh man, just excitement, really. Uh, I mean, just getting a W and you know, just doing it one last time for them. You know, I'm playing for them. You know what I'm saying? And going on to Texas, you know what I'm saying? I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win there as well. Really nothing, man. I'm just happy we won. Won with my brothers. So, you know, it's been a rough season, and we got the dog. All right, who are we here with? Bree. I know, all right. Character. All right, and how long have y'all been cheering for Skyline? I've been cheering for three years. Four years. Three years. All right, and this and this is y'all's last, this was y'all's last high school game. Hi, well, what are y'all feeling right now, this being y'all's last game? I feel very emotional, but extremely happy and grateful that we won. Um, yeah. Uh, it's been a long year. I thought I was going to cry tonight, but I didn't, so I'm super proud of myself. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a bittersweet moment. I'm happy that they won, but also sad because I won't get the chair forced to anymore. But I'm happy we won, and we end the season off with a dub. And who we here with? Who we here with? Captain Lulu. Co-Captain Tania. And Lieutenant Parker. Okay, and this was y'all's last high school game. This is it. Yes. Y'all won 1918, but what are y'all going through it being y'all's last game? Um, it being four years of me being in this organization. It's amazing. Y'all should join. Um, and yeah, I love all my all the silks. There's like a sisterhood. And yeah. Yes, I love Bam. My three years, we was good. Finally got to see the football team win my senior year, senior game. I love that for him. I'm proud of them for finally winning the game. And thank y'all. Um, Loki, this is depressing. Like, I'm gonna miss y'all. Y'all are Loki, my dogs. I love y'all. Um, and class of 2025 is the best. 
Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Get a chant. Get the chant. Come on. Okay. 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 Man, all those interviews make me want to cry because they all leaving and all that stuff. You say I overreact. Okay, buddy, but you want to know it's not overreaction? What? That the SRB is the baddest in the land. Well, because you know. And since you are one of the biggest SRB enthusiasts I know, go ahead and tell people the good news. Gladly, y'all. SRB did amazing at the National Show Band Supreme Regional Battle of the Bands. Mm -hmm. Our drum majors and our sassy silks both got first place, and our silhouettes got second place. Really should have got first, though. Overall, the SRB band got second place. First place, if you ask me. Good job, you guys. Good job. Real proud of y'all. But remember when you said I overreact? Mm-hmm. Do well, I know it's not overreaction? What? That, you know, Mike Tyson's going to beat Jake Paul today, and it's going to be, and this whole thing was 100% a PR stunt from his legal team. Good job. But, yeah. Yes. I'm definitely having a party for it Friday. Best believe, Mike Tyson's going to give him the best three-piece since Popeye's introduced chicken tenders. <sighs> the back is big. But... That's all we have for today, guys. Also, if you think we missed any of your information, please scan this QR code right here and tell us. Yep, and I know in the past we've had technical difficulties, or you know it may be not working, <laughs> Jay. But anyways, back to the Anchor Girls. <laughs> Whoa, someone really likes their segment, huh, Maddie? 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 Okay, I don't know where she went, but Jay really does belong on, on that chair. Props to you. We recognize you for your amazing work. And happy birthday week. And continuing the sports theme, if you're interested in boys track trials, they will start after school Monday, November 18th, starting at 4.55 p.m. Sorry, guys, I'm having a hard time without Maddie. <laughs> Activate and physicals must be completed prior to working out. Now, I think I'm gonna go try to find Maddie, but here's our TVF tries in the meantime. What's up, everybody? My name's Jay. I'm Maddie. Axel. I'm Chris. And today we're going to be trying RTVF tries to be... Drum Major! Dun -ta -dun. My name's Jarvis. I'm a first year drum major. And today for RTVF tries, I'm going to teach these guys how to be drum majors. That, yeah. OK, guys, let me teach you how to actually stretch. like a proper drum major. If, if we're gonna do this right, I gotta teach y'all how to actually stretch. Oh. <laughs> also guys, is this a bad time to say that I'm allergic to grass? No, bro, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> now lay back, over here. And you're gonna lay back. <laughs> Three, two, one. <sighs> Stop. I, I need to go to my confession. I need to go to my concession. I need to talk about that. We ain't gonna worry about what they do. Coming, coming, coming. I don't know what that was. <laughs> See, now here's something that we do to people like Axel. Whenever they don't want to get to attention, we say get to attention. Oh, Axel, go ahead and drop. Uh oh. <laughs> Give me SRB 10. Whistle. Two, three, four. Ready, two, three, Sound off. Ten, Sound off. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. JSU, JSU. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, up. And five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it seems like y'all got the y'all got the gist of of JSU. Um, I don't get why they're celebrating. They look trash. Like, terrible. <laughs> Whistle, two, three, four. S, R, B, one. S R B two. Louder. Louder. Maddie, get off your knees. Hey, S R B fifteen. Go to fifteen. Hey, stop. Y'all, somebody in your squad, stop. Y'all gotta stop. 
No, nope, y'all stay down or it goes more. Maddie, Maddie is excused. It's the okay. When I blow my whistle, when I blow my whistle, we start the run. Where are we going? Follow me. Follow. We got that one. Now you got this. Loki, give Marco the. Oh yeah, give Marco that one so he can run with us. Yeah, give Marco that one. This is my home turf, everybody. Y'all ready? Hey, get into the line. We're about to run now. I gotta treat it like this is a, a thing. Yeah, I'm not tired of these things no more. I do these so often. Oh, we're leaving somebody? Oh, y'all wanna stop? No, 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 no. Do y'all want to stop? Hey, y'all trying to stop? Say no. Are y'all trying to stop? Hey, next time I see y'all on y'all's feet, if y'all are going to stand still, y'all got to be like this at least. Next time I see y'all stop, we're going to take a break. This is... Oh, really? Come on, keep moving. Yeah, keep moving, keep moving. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. There you were. <laughs> Man, it was hot out there. I don't know how it was hot. It was just cold this morning. Man. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird how the weather works, huh, Maddie? Yeah, that was a real workout, man. Speaking of working out, you can also come support your Skyline wrestling team by visiting their concession stands every Tuesdays and Thursdays in front of the A building. How mm -hmm. are you feeling after after that? I'm good. I just need to catch my yeah, breath. Go ahead. It's okay. But anyways, um, the wrestling team will have nachos, honey buns, chips, drinks, and candy for sale. Mm -hmm. Sales will begin promptly at 4.30 p.m. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I was actually named after a mermaid. But today, we're not talking about that mermaid. We're talking about the one who said, ah. So, if you're a sea creature, better close that mouth before a sea witch takes some vocal cords, and that will be a real conundrum. But if you're not, might want to open that mouth because you might catch a golden snitch because you're a wizard, Harry. Um, a what now? Okay. Didn't even do the Sorry. accent, um, like. I'm a what? Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, but maybe you're not a wizard who does spells, but one who magically demolishes their opponents with a team of cartoon characters. But the most important question is, how do you get whooped in a game of basketball by some rodents? Like, come on now. Anyways, here's Gabriel. Good morning, Raiders. My name is Gabriel Marin, and welcome to On This Day in Pop Culture, where I'll be showing you the most influential movies, music, and media released on this day in history. And on this day, November 15th in 1996, Space Jam premiered in the United States. The movie follows Michael Jordan as he is sucked into the world of Looney Tunes and has to play a game of basketball that will decide all their fates. The film utilizes a combination of hand-drawn animation and live action and was really well received. I'm going to say something extremely controversial. Looney Tunes back in action was better. On November 16th, 2001, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone released in the United States. The film follows Harry Potter as he attends his first year at Hogwarts, a school for wizards. The film was based off of the popular Harry Potter book series and led to eight sequels and a spin-off movie series. It is arguably one of the most influential franchises of all time, introducing countless spells and magical artifacts, like this invisibility cloak. I got it for $400 and I think I was scammed. The cloak itself is invisible, but it doesn't make anything else invisible and I dropped it. Someone's gonna trip over that. On November 17th in 1989, the Little Mermaid premiered. The movie follows Ariel, who is a mermaid, as she falls in love with a human and makes a deal with a witch to become one, with some restrictions. The movie marked the start of Disney's Renaissance era and was preserved in the National Film Registry by Congress. Well, that's it for today. Tune in on Monday to see what happened on that day in pop culture. <sighs> we told you guys, he never misses a day, but y'all didn't believe us. Yeah, he's truly irreplaceable. Yep. 
Well, Raiders, are you looking for a job? Well, Chick-fil-A is looking for you. Exactly. Chick-fil-A at the Townie Small location is seeking for responsible, reliable, and enthusiastic employees. Yep, so if you're interested, scan the QR code or text the number to apply. And don't miss out on the opportunity to make some money for the upcoming holidays. Mm -hmm. Like Christmas. Give me my money. Christmas. You didn't clap. Anyway, if you need assistance with filling out applications, any rowing skills, or resume writing, you can see Miss Ballard in room B54. She will be offering job readiness prep sessions on Wednesdays from 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Now let's go see a little more of our very enthusiastic Jay. What's up, y'all? Um, sorry, one second. Fortunately, we lost Nico. Anyways, what's up you guys? My name's Jay and this is Jay and Jay. As you see, Nico isn't here because he decided to be fast and now he got kidnapped and now we have to pay $300 just to get him back. But until then, we'll keep the show going. Today, we're gonna be asking kids where are they going for Thanksgiving break? Let's go. We with my boy Ice Spice here. Yeah. So you know Thanksgiving break is coming, right? Where are you going for Thanksgiving break? Are you traveling anywhere? I'm going to the Dominican Republic. You going where? To the DR, baby. Oh, you going out the country? You already know. Ooh. You got any family in the Dominican Republic? Nah, but I'm going to, the, to for, a, for a baseball tournament. Ooh, I ain't never heard of that. I ain't never. That's what they let me join baseball. Wait a minute. All right, who am I here with? Taquan. And he said it's his birthday today, y'all, so everybody give him a big happy birthday. Where are you going for Thanksgiving? Louisiana. Oh, you got family down there? Yeah, my granny. Oh, can you take the ski mask down, like, air, please, like, who am I here with? Cameron. <laughs> God, help the cheering, the cheering are lost. <laughs> lost subject one. Uh, Come on, Project 626. Hey, Lord, stop calling me that false Swiss cheese, y'all. Spell Swiss cheese. My point exactly. Let's go. <laughs> Well, we're coming on the close of today's episode, so let's wrap it up, shall we? Mm -hmm. You already know I do Raiders Inferno, and it has come to my attention that most of you don't know what I mean when I say I torture teachers for your entertainment. So let me show you with a look on what you missed. So, you think you can handle the heat? I know I can handle the heat. Oh, okay. everybody out there in TV land, y'all are about to see how white I am. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Okay, I'm excited. Oh, good. No, I just have to remember your children and I can't say bad words. So, Chick, if something happens to me, tell all my teachers I love them. Oh yeah. my God, already. Oh, I might is... need a moment too. <coughs> um, I think I'm crying. <laughs> That's why I gave you the tissue. But I don't want to touch it. I guess it's not on my hands. Okay. What did I say? <laughs> that is stupid. It oh, is. that. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> oh, myself. wow. Here we go. Just breathe. No. Pain is an illusion. Pain is an illusion. Remember that. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> So staff, if you think you can handle the heat, scan the QR code to sign up. And I promise, it's really not that bad. I mean, like, it is the hottest pepper on the planet. and it Okay, has, like, no okay, stop. Talking about it, you're just making it worse. Yeah, my bad. What she really means to say is sign up to have some spicy good fun. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. And while you're at it, you should go follow North Pole Baddie on Instagram. <laughs> because if you... Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> because if, if not, you'll get cold for Christmas. Or Krampus will come and make you and your family disappear. Whichever comes first. Oh, sorry. And on that very morbid note, that's all we have for today, Raiders. See y'all next week. See you later, alligators. After a while, crocodiles. You're spelling scoop. And right now. now.